Hi, everyone. So many bright, smiling faces here. My name is Jumana. Some of you may have seen me through social media, but there's a lot that you don't see behind those pictures and videos. I went to Middlesex University. I was a law student, but I was more busy posting for pictures and making videos than actually studying law. I was in my third year law degree. I was 18 years old, by the way. And I made the decision to drop out. But I tried again. I went to New York Institute of Technology in Abu Dhabi. Maybe I thought, you know, this time I'd find something I'd, I'd love doing, and this is my thing. And at the same time, I worked for my father. I was his employee. Uh, I was heading finance in one of his companies. But instead of crunching numbers and doing the tally and balance sheet, I was more into likes, shares, comments. So there I was making videos in his cabin instead of doing the balance sheet and the tally. I grew up in a very traditional household. My father was the boss of the house. He made all the decisions and he was the, he had final say in everything in the house. And he was a very strict father, obviously goes without saying. Um, so, and, and I know for a fact my father is mad at me every time he takes my name Jumana and not Juma because he calls me Juma. So one day I came uh, from office, I came back and I could see my father sitting in the living room on a sofa and the TV was on for nobody to watch, right? And I knew for a fact something was off because he looked very serious. So as soon as I walked inside, he said, come here. And I, I walked towards him. He points at his phone and he shows me all the videos that I made in his office. That was, <laughs> that was embarrassing. He asked me, did you make all this at work? I just said, I didn't say yes, I didn't say no, because I was so worried and nervous. And then he drops the boom. He said, you're fired. Come back when you're ready to work for real. But he also said, when you're at work, make sure you're fully committed and find a career where your interest and your strength is aligned. Just like that, I was jobless, but my dad did have a point. I wanted to do something more creative, something that got my heart racing every day I would wake up. So my story is about my self-discovery and how I found a career that aligned with my interest and my strength. And that led me to social media. And you know, back in the days, a lot of people didn't actually believe you could make a career out of social media. But there I was, drawing up the blueprints where none existed. And you know, it was more like hiking without a map. I approved of my life, I moved to Dubai. I told my family, look, I want to finish my law degree. They were like, very good, do it. Indian families, right? But the moment I stepped inside my university, I felt like a painter in an accounting class. And the, and the whisper of follow your passion became a roar in the silence, which I couldn't ignore. And in search of insight, I traveled to Bangalore to meet a friend of mine. Her name was Ashwati. She was, she was new to this, but she was already flourishing. So when I met her, I asked, how do you do it? What's your secret? And her answer was very simple. She said, just create, connect, collaborate every single day. And if there is one thing that I see, that's seen common in all content creators or anybody in social media is that they're all active on social media on a daily basis. Seeing their inspiration, dedication, I was really motivated. I was like, yes, this is what I want to do in my life. So I decided to follow their path and make content every single day. It all started with Instagram, but slowly transitioned to TikTok. Uh, 
one of my first videos uh, basically was just me and my friend, you know, we're glancing away because we got super shy because the guy was looking at us. It was a very pretty no normal teenage stuff. But that crossed 40 million views. I was the happiest. And we all know that delightful rush of dopamine, right? I wanted more of it. With every new follower, my heart swelled with gratitude. I celebrated every million like a proud parent. I may have aimed for a million, but here I am with a family of over 17 million followers on my social media platform. And you know, till date, when I, when I look back, my biggest achievement was when I was featured in Burj Khalifa in 2021 for New Year's. I was absolutely shocked because I, I never expected that. So till date, when I look back, wow, I made it. I'm so, I'm so proud of myself. I never wanted to prove anybody wrong, but I wanted to prove myself right, that I could do it. That if you do something with your, your heart and if you're passionate about it, you can actually make it happen. It's all in you. But I had my challenges too. Oh wait, I want to show you all the picture that, that was featured in Burj Khalifa. Oh, me celebrating all my millions like a proud parent. <laughs> Sometimes when I get sad, you know, I look at this picture and I'm like, wow, yay, I made it. But like again, I had my challenges too. Especially when you're coming from an Indian family, their expectations are their expectations are usually super high. They want you to be either a doctor, teacher, or an engineer, and if you're none of that, then what are you doing, you know? That's the mentality. And my father wanted me to be an IS officer or an entrepreneur, and I couldn't, I, instead his daughter was making TikTok dances. I still remember this one time my father asked me, are you still making those dances and TikToks? And I was like, yes, dad. That was, you know, any Indian dad. He, he didn't understand, you know, what was social media. In his head, he was, my daughter, she's just making videos. I don't know what she's doing. But eventually, I, I could convince my father, and I, he saw how passionate, how happy I was in what I was doing. So he gave me the approval. He said, good, fine. That's how, um, uh, that's, uh, that's one of the main challenges I had. But I'm happy now. My family is very supportive even though I'm a content creator, which I think is amazing for me because I'm extremely happy in what I do. Not just that, I, I'm gonna have to be honest with you all, I was absolutely broke when I moved to Dubai. I had more enthusiasm than cash. I lived in a very small room, but big dreams. And like I said again, I didn't wanna prove anybody wrong. I just wanted to prove myself right. And there are three things that has helped me achieve my goals in my life, and I wanted to like share it with you all. It all started with a simple belief. I don't believe in strategy, but instead I believe in something much more powerful, which is passion. Acting and making content was like a warm glow in my heart for me. I did not have a fancy roadmap or a strategy to follow. A few weeks ago, a friend of mine dropped the S word on me, which is strategy. He told me, you should do this. And I said, how does it even work? I genuinely asked him. He said, very simple. Have a goal, analyze, make a plan, and execute. I was like, yes, I can do it. I'm all fired up. I went back home. I, I opened my laptop. I wrote strategy, roadmap. I can do it. I thought for like good 10 minutes. I looked at left, right, even at the ceiling sometimes. I closed my laptop. Because that gave me an idea for a content which I want to show you all. <laughs> Very simple video, but that gave me an idea for a content. I thought, yes, let me make a video. Here's the thing, dedication to your passion is not just about making a living. It's about having a life, making a life that is bursting with creativity, passion, resilience, 
and authenticity. It's about making your passion into your compass that can guide you through extraordinary adventure. And my journey wasn't just fueled by passion. It was also about embracing the very things that made most people pause. You need to reframe your mindset and look at stress and challenging situations as essential components of growth and not as obstacles. What happens is when you constantly you're going through challenging, stressful situations, it eventually becomes normal to you. And that is very important if you want to become successful. And if you peek behind the curtains of anybody who's made it big in this world, you'll know for a fact they've been through a lot of stressful, challenging situations, not just that. They had to make those really wise decisions to reach where they are right now. And that's why where they are successful. And do not forget to celebrate your every small wins, by the way. Let me tell you a story of mine. Initially, uh, when, when I started, I used to do a lot of free collaborations and free events. And my first paycheck was uh, $250. And I was the happiest. I was like, yes, I did something in my life. Because for me, it was, it was genuinely not just about money. It was, it was about doing something that got my heart racing, where I'm excited, and I think differently every day, and I'm making different things every day. It was, it was all about that. And, and in the daily rhythm of all the stress, all the content, all the work that I was doing, I also discovered the value of giving. It helps you gain exposure, build relationship, and establish credibility. It's basically like investing in your future, you know? And if you, for example, if, if you're a chef and if you want to open a big restaurant, I'd say start off by providing free cooking classes. That way, you gain exposure, you build relationship, and you establish credibility. And it is beyond cooking. Some of the software companies, they start off by giving free version of their software. That way they gain trust, and they then charge for premium features. It's, it's basically like planting seeds which grows into like fruitful trees. So I'd say, take it from a girl who went from studying case law to becoming case study in following your heart. As we part ways today, I encourage you to do that one thing which truly makes you feel alive and you're happy. Because in the end, that's all we're searching for, right? Thank you for being a part of my journey. Here is to creating, connecting, and doing extremely extraordinary things every single day.